It stood longer than Canada has been a country, and it's home to some notorious criminals. Kingston Penitentiary is as infamous as its inmates. Well, today, news, the maximum security facility and a medium security prison in Quebec will close. So why is a government that considers itself tough on crime shutting down jails? Lori Graham has that story for us tonight. Lori. The news came as a shock to people in Kingston, Peter, especially those who work at the prison. Kingston Penitentiary is a maximum security institution with almost 350 inmates, some of the most dangerous and violent men in Canada. Paul Bernardo, Russell Williams, and the late serial killer Clifford Olson. The prison is 177 years old, and the government has decided it has served its time. Institutions built in the 19th century are not appropriate for managing a 21st century inmate population. And so today I'm announcing the impending closure of Kingston Penitentiary and the Regional Treatment Centre in Kingston, as well as Leclerc Institution in Laval, Quebec. Leclerc is a medium security prison north of Montreal, a lot younger than Kingston, but still slated to close. Not what you might expect from a tough on crime government. The influx of new prisoners originally predicted, even by my own department, is not materializing. About a thousand guards will be transferred. Some stood outside the prison today, trying to provide what little information they had. A lot of anxiety with the members, not knowing. Uh, they say that they're going to be deployed to other sites, but our biggest issue is no plan in place. There is a plan to move close to a thousand inmates to similar facilities across the country. About 140 of them are serving life sentences in Kingston. Guards who say many prisons are already overcrowded worry more and more inmates will be forced to double bunk, even the most dangerous. You start putting uh, uh, two individuals in a small space and tell them to to uh, uh, cohabitate together, and at the same time, we're not going to you know we're not going to be able to provide uh, the appropriate programs. Uh, that, that creates problems. Tave says there won't be problems, but there won't be new prisons either. Instead, 2,400 single cells will be added to already existing facilities. That's nonsense. I mean, Bill C-10 just became uh, just became law in the last um, month or so. It just, was just received royal assent. So we don't know what the effect is that going to be. People in Kingston don't know either. The prison is the third largest employer in the city. Our main concerns was what is the impact of this going to have on our community and how do we work with those employees to make sure that they will be uh, um, taken care of. And Peter, this is all part of the government's plan to reduce spending. It says it will save $120 million by closing Kingston and Leclerc. The inmates from both prisons will be moved over the next two years. All right, Laurie, thanks very much. Laurie Graham on Parliament Hill tonight.